Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at cutting strokes in Illustrator. We're just looking at cutting strokes. Now a lot of people on YouTube purport to teach this and what they do is they convert the strokes into a filled shape. That's not what I'm doing today. I'm actually going to give you a real method for cutting strokes and leaving things the way they were before you found them. So I have a number of shapes here. We're going to start with this straight line. You can tell it's a line because it doesn't have a fill and it's got a pink stroke. To cut this, you're going to use the scissors tool. Now for this particular technique, you don't actually have to have the line selected. That's unusual. So we're going to go over here to where the eraser is, the knife tool and the scissors. We're using scissors. So I'm going to grab the scissors and as I hover over this line, you'll see this little word path appears. That tells me that I'm over the top of the path that runs through the middle of the line and I can just click anywhere and I'll divide the line at that point. So we're creating extra anchor points but note over here this is still a line that doesn't have a fill on it and that we haven't changed the quality of it at all. So what you want to do is avoid people, if you want this stroke effect, avoid people who tell you to select your line first of all and go to object and then path and outline stroke because what outline stroke does is it's going to convert it into a filled shape so it's no longer a path and if you want it to be a path just a line like normal then don't do what they say and do what I'm telling you to do and use the scissors tool to cut it. I'm going to cut this shape here with the scissors tool or we already know that with the scissors tool we don't have to actually select the shape first so I'm just going to click on my cut points. This is going to give me two shapes but there's a bit of a gotcha with this one. You can see that in cutting this into two shapes what's happened is that we've got this stroke but these two points are actually not joined. So when I click on the direct selection tool you can see we've got anchor point, anchor point, anchor point but there's no line across here. Here. If you want there to be a line across there you're going to have to go to object and then path and join and that will take it back so that it is actually a joined filled shape. Now it was just a line before with a fill so just be aware of that. With the scissors you're not going to get two filled shapes you're going to get a shape that is not a filled shape it's just a stroke with a fill on it. Now another tool that you can use to divide things is divide. So what we're going to do is we're just going to draw a line over the top of our shape where we want the division to take place. With this particular feature you want the line selected and not the shape underneath. It doesn't work if the shapes underneath are selected. You just have to have the line selected. You go to object and then path and you'll choose here divide objects below. Anything below that shape will be divided and your line will be sacrificed in the process. You can see the line has disappeared but here unlike over here with the scissors we get a complete shape and it's exactly the same shape as we had before just cut in two so it's got a pink stroke and a blue fill. Nothing magical about that. Now another way that you can cut things is to use the knife tool. Now it shares the toolbar position over here with scissors and eraser but with the knife you have to actually select your shape first. So let's go and get the selection tool and then let's go back and get the knife tool. Now the knife tool is handy because you can do a couple of things with it. You can cut with a sort of swirly or uneven line and when we do that you'll see that we end up with two distinct shapes. I'm just going to stick them back together again because also with the knife tool if you want to draw a straight line you can hold the alt key down and that will peg the line at the point where you click. I've still got the left mouse button pressed so I can move to wherever I want the line to finish and just let go and again that's going to give me two individual shapes. They're complete shapes so they're joined up all the way around and obviously they have the same feature as our starting shape. They've got a stroke and a fill. So if you want to cut things cut a stroke into pieces and you don't want to lose the quality of what it is that you're working with this is how you're going to do it and just be aware that anybody who suggests that you use outline stroke is actually going to compromise your stroke. They're going to turn it into a filled shape and that's not going to be the same thing. If you want a stroke this is how you're going to do it. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. 
I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.